Anna Swan was born in Tatamaguch, Nova Scotia in 1846. To the surprise of her average-sized parents, at birth, she weighed a whopping 16 pounds. And by the age of four, she was already four and a half feet tall, growing seven inches that year alone. Anna continued to defy expectations, reaching a height of six feet two inches by the time she was 11 years old. Weighing almost 200 pounds, she towered over her father and continued to grow. It would take seven more years for Anna to reach her full height of seven feet 11 inches. P.T. Barnum of the Barnum and Bailey Circus was impressed by her size and talent and hired her to work at his New York Museum when she turned 17 years old. Anna performed alongside Tom Thumb, the museum's famous midget, emphasizing both of their sizes and the disparity. While her size was a spectacle that drew visitors to the museum, it was also her undoing. In 1865, a fire broke out of the basement offices, and although most people were able to escape through the windows or down the stairs, Anna's size prevented her from fitting through windows. The stairs were on fire by the time she realized it, and she was too heavy to be carried by firefighters. Eventually, a crane was brought in to knock down a section of the wall, and they were able then to lower her to safety. Although the museum reopened soon after, it burned down again in 1868, and Anna lost all her belongings. This was enough for Anna. She decided to return back to Nova Scotia and give it all up. A year after leaving, P.T. Barnum then invited Anna on a tour of the United States. After much persuasion, she agreed, not knowing that the trip would actually wind up changing her life. On the tour's southern leg, Anna met Martin Van Buren Bates of Kentucky, who was 7 feet 9 inches tall, just 2 inches shorter than her. Despite their height difference, Anna and Martin fell in love. They got married just a year later. The couple became famous as the world's tallest couple and received letters and wedding gifts from all over the world. Queen Victoria herself sent them a pair of diamond-studded gold watches. After their wedding in 1871, the couple moved to Seville, Ohio where Martin built them a custom home with oversized ceilings, extremely large doorways, and furniture custom built for their comfort. The main floor had 14-foot ceilings, and the doors were 8-foot tall and extra wide. Martin even had a small house built in the back of the property for servants and guests. However, the couple continued to tour the country with P.T. Barnum as their wedding had become an international sensation. While on tour, Anna became pregnant with her first child, but tragically, the baby was born weighing only 18 pounds and died shortly after birth. The couple's second child was born the following winter, weighing in at 23 pounds, measuring 30 inches long and having 6-inch feet. Anna was awarded a Guinness World Record for having the largest newborn baby ever recorded, but the baby only lived for 11 hours. After their children passed away, the tallest couple toured with the W.W. Cole's Circus before retiring and returning home. In 1888, Anna passed away at the age of 41 years old, and Martin buried her in the town of Seville. He commissioned a 15-foot-tall Greek goddess statue from Europe, which he placed atop her grave. Martin passed away in 1919 and was laid to rest right next to his beloved Anna. Anna Swan's life was one of astounding feats and tragedy. Her size captivated audiences, but it also brought her peril in the face of danger. But her love for Martin and the life that they lived and shared together would stand the test of time and be an example of love for the ages. These are Interesting Things with J.C.